I'm with Piotr Dziubecki, Program Manager from Casper Association. Another uh, update about the Casper Network. So Piotr, what is building right now on Casper Network? What is going on? Uh, anything new? Yeah, so uh, we speak here uh, from Krakow, uh, from uh, InvestCAF conference. I think that uh, we are here, it's like the second time we are here. Uh, I'm very much pumped since we already see that uh, many projects that we talked uh, one year ago, they are coming back to us. Some of them, they are already in our grant uh, program. Uh, some of them, they are even having like a booth adjacent to one uh, that we have here. And uh, it's all growing. Yeah? So when you ask me what is building, I, I can tell you that a lot is building. Uh, um, you will see soon in uh, April what is building exactly by checking our reporting tool, which will be free and uh, open for everyone to check where we association is spending the money and how this money will uh, transform the projects, the ideas into products. Um, so the time span is very short. It's six months uh, for every project that is uh, accessing the grant program from the ideation to the execution and the delivery to the production. It means that uh, summer, summertime, we will see the first product uh, already launching on Casper. Um, I can uh, speak about the NFT bridges, uh, testing frameworks on the infrastructure side. Uh, we have also um, game-like solutions, uh, Steam-like platforms that uh, we see also here at InvestCAFs. And that's all about the retail investors, retail users, casual users. Uh, they want also to have more possibilities to spend their Casper on. Yeah? So we don't want to um, only to stake, which is also very important and is important for the security of the network, but we want to give them through these projects other options to, uh, to, to spend their Caspers on. Okay, what about the uh, 1.5 update? Yes, so uh, you all know that it's uh, delayed and uh, we have good reasons for that. So 1.5 um, is now like a totally new release. Um, from the inside, it's not only it's not only about the fast sync uh, on the features that are required by the validators to uh, for the fast synchronization with the network, but we also rebuilt a lot of stuff uh, from the from the grant app, uh, completely removing unnecessary elements, optimizing the performance in various components, and that's uh, the reason that we need a lot of tests to make sure that all of these newly created elements interacting together without any regression, so without introducing any bugs to the existing processes. Um, we are currently at 1.4.13 release, which is uh, up and live, and there would be uh, the next uh, smaller release that is about optimizing, uh, optimizing uh, global state, which is internal database of our blockchain. On every node, it's being built uh, when the new blocks are coming up, and uh, this database could be a little bit smaller, better organized, and now that's the main thing that the development team is working on. Alongside with 1.5, which is feature complete, but uh, we need more tests, mm -hmm. a little bit more mm -hmm. time to make sure that it's also rock solid. Yeah, robust, yeah. So 2.0 2 will be delayed, right? Maybe so, next year? Yeah, so 2.0, uh, uh, it's between 1.5 and um, um, there would be also 1.6 after 1.5. Uh, so 2.0, I would say we need uh, still a couple of months in order to make it happen. Uh, what is important, we already 95% uh, complete on the new consensus protocol. So this is already implemented. Suk pro protocol is uh, not yet live, but it's ready to be audited. Yeah? So now what we are preparing, we, uh, we are uh, preparing for handing it over to the security company who will check if there are no flaws in the you know, the cracks of our system, which is the consensus algorithm. And then that is like the most critical part that we want to uh, have. And that would be the highlight of 2.0. So it's not that it, we did not start at all. Uh, we started on many fronts and now we'll be closing and connecting these dots, making sure that it will come uh, nicely together. Okay, so like a big chunk of the 2.0 is like 1.5, right? Yes, so 1.5 is like a great introduction for 2.0 since we moved some of the elements that we wanted to optimize in 2.0, which are non-breaking uh, because 1.5 is non-breaking changes. Yeah? Uh, and uh, we all incorporated them already into this upcoming release, which will make 2.0 a little bit more slimmer, focus on the critical elements that we will be changing okay. in a breaking way. Okay, so the next 
Casper uh, Ecosystem IO, Validator Portal, and Developer Portal. Yes. The three things. Yes, and this is a, a much closer perspective for us, for the users. So, Casper Ecosystem.io, this is already live. You could uh, uh, check by yourself that is now already aligned with our new branding. Uh, it has uh, uh, more features than uh, three weeks ago. It's constantly in development. So, we started with ecosystem projects. Then we added ecosystem pro uh, service providers. So anything about software development, marketing ag uh, agencies, or maybe validators, you have the possibility to see who is using or who is building on Casper. And these um, service providers that are also connected against the projects. So we can easily see that, let's say, Meg is building CSPR Live, that Casper Labs is behind um, uh, JavaScript uh, SDK and so forth. And now what we are planning to uh, roll out in the next release is the repositories. So you will have full overview of all public repositories that are available for Casper developers. So that would be one place where you could see, let's say I need a, vo I need a wallet for my application. Which wallet has open source code uh, release? Uh, I need a Java SDK where I can find Java SDK. So this is uh, something that we want to give to the community and also encourage community to work with us. The repository for this project for ecasperecosystem.io is open. It's a GitHub repository. So if you see um, anything that should be added or removed or maybe modified, just uh, cut a PR by yourself or let us, own, let us know. We will work together with you to make sure that this data is always up to date. Developer portal, April. Yes. So. Uh, I will, not do, I will not give you any specific dates, this is about the marketing team, but we can safely assume that in April you will see new uh, developer experience that is uh, built on top of the existing documentation, which will be uh, funneling the developers, all kinds of developers and uh, uh, let's say power users of Casper ecosystem uh, to make sure that they know how to onboard themselves. Yeah? So mm -hmm. uh, if I'm the Rust developer, I will have a dedicated uh, tutorials on smart contract development. Okay, from taking by the hand from the zero to development uh, doubts. Correct, correct, yes. So depending on how advanced you are, you will find something for you. If you are a Web3 developer, you will find JavaScript tutorials. Uh, if you want to be node operator, we'll also show you how to stand up your node, uh, which architecture is the best, whether you go for Amazon or other service provider, we'll have these kind of instructions uh, step by step for you ready. Okay, nice. And validator portal, when? It's yes. like, that's, it's very late. Technically, uh, technically it's finished. Uh, now we also want to make it compliant with governance. Um, you know that Casper network is decentralized, so Casper Association has no control over the uh, network on how it's, uh, uh, how it's evolving, let's say, what is the inflation rate. It's all about validators. Yeah? And uh, they need to have a good tool that they can use, for instance, for voting, to, to introduce any changes to the existing behavior of the network. And uh, we also want to be 100% compliant with the Swiss law uh, under which we are regulated. And that's the reason of these delays. Uh, like a technically, on the technical, technical side, this is all done. Now we are fine tuning uh, the mechanism that will let us to efficiently govern our network. Okay. Uh in the Polish interview, for the Polish viewers, you can you can watch my uh, watch the interview in the on my Polish channel. You said about the countries that you want to um, uh, expand: the yes. Spain, the Dach uh, region, India. Yes. Why is that? Where? Why? Yes. So uh, first of all, we also uh, did our uh, we did the math. Yeah. So we did our analysis. We checked the stats. Uh, we check uh, how the community is behaving, and we identified some of the key markets um, and uh, this, these key markets we want to address in the first place. It doesn't mean that we will not be uh, on the other markets as well, but we would like to put a little bit more emphasis uh, from the very beginning uh, on Polish market where we are here today. Uh, we also see viable to go for Germany, Austria and uh, Switzerland. Uh, we also see that France is uh, turning uh, towards uh, blockchain and crypto uh, very strongly, so we want to be available for the French community as well. And then Spain, Portugal, these are the regions that already are in favor of uh, some of the regulations, and they mm -hmm. have very strong communities that we, like, that we would like to explore. Some of the hints that we are getting also for, from the grant program can uh, tell us that we are already um, we are already known there, yes? So I can give you an example. We have Minta and Dome project that is coming from Spain. 
they are building NFT marketplace for us uh, as a part of the grant program and uh, uh, they fund us. Yeah? So they started to collab collaborate. Now we are very happy that uh, we have uh, them on our side um, and we'll be following up. So uh, we also established a little bit more uh, direct uh, communi communication channels. So we have Polish group, we have German speaking group, yep. there is Spanish group, a French group. Uh, we will be following up uh, also, uh, not uh, in terms of the remote activities, but physical workshops. So we plan something in Poland, we plan something in Spain. Uh, hopefully we'll also do something for Ger German speaking community. And that would be not about uh, shilling, it will be about real work. Yeah? So we'll be inviting developers, development studio, and we'll be showing them step by step how to onboard uh, to Casper. Okay, nice. And India? India, yes. I forgot about India. Um, we have uh, our uh, PM deployed to India. He's leaving them, no, Devendra. Uh, if you're watching this, Devendra, you are doing great job. Uh, he was already in one event. Uh, more events are coming. And uh, we see that there is a huge need uh, for communication. So we already established a, con a couple of contacts, leads. Uh, we are following up on these leads also in Paris uh, uh, this week that um, we were there together. Some of the contacts from the India uh, conference, uh, they approached us uh, over there. And it seems that it will be very dynamic uh, market for us. And we want, we want to invest a lot of effort to make sure that Casper is visible and available for this market. Yes, and uh, uh, United uh, Emirates, right? Yes. Arab Emirates. That's a little bit the domain of Casper Labs. Labs? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. So you see that a lot of business this uh, have their provenance in the uh, Middle East. And we are very happy that uh, we can um, a little bit like uh, diversify our efforts and making sure that uh, we act globally. So, of course, we are focused locally on a couple of markets, but, but then together with Casper Labs, we try to uh, provide the full coverage for the, uh, for the world that is interested in blockchain. Nice. I'm bullish. <laughs> I'm bullish still because you can't comment, uh, comment on uh, Casper Labs cooperation with the Antonis Karamucci Skybridge Capital. You have a lot of blog posts that you can read and uh, judge for yourself. Um, I think that uh, it's very, um, let's say, uh, it's like a highlight of uh, the last couple of weeks. I think that uh, it is a great deal and hopefully it will be only the beginning of this collaboration. It, I, I would say, and I would see this as a door, door opener for the other businesses. Okay, nice. Uh, back to the Casper Association stuff. So I can uh, still, I can uh, apply for the grant, right? Yes. So the grant program, um, the time span or lifespan of this grant program is uh, at least three years. Yeah, And of course, we have uh, as, uh, like a uh, budget of $25 million. Uh, of, I hope that in the bull, the bull market that is coming, um, it will be also adjusted uh, upwards uh, and uh, it means that uh, we uh, every day uh, uh, receive more applications and we are very happy to talk with uh, all of you. If you have any ideas about uh, cool projects that you can deliver to us within the six months, just give it a try, fill out the simple form. If we uh, will accept your application, then you start talking to us directly and hopefully being chosen for the next grantee. Okay, uh, and now topic uh, connection to the other um, crypto communities. Yes. Uh, so we have a nice relation with the XRP community, right? Kevin Cage and Cash. Uh, that's uh, two of the greatest supporters of the Casper ecosystem. But you have a nice story to tell. Yes, so um, I met also um, XRP or Ripple uh, representative in Paris blockchain. They had also a very nice booth over there. We had like a, at least a half an hour conversation about how Ripple um, is working, how Casper is utilizing their uh, strong points and what could be the synergy here. So uh, the outcome of this is that we would like to connect our business development teams and uh, find the best possible use case for both systems to uh, coexist together. You know, we have uh, our own strength and uh, I think it would be a waste to not to utilize this in a synergy. Yeah, of course, yeah. The community is uh, connected. We have a great support from the XRP community. So uh, it would be great to see Ripple X Casper Labs uh, cooperation Let's in the future. See. Yeah? You know, it's already happening on Twitter, uh, you know, among yeah, yeah, our yeah. user base. Let's put it on a, another level. Yeah, and uh, what about the Algo uh, runs uh, community or their Hashgraph community? So it's you also similar. Yes, uh, they are similar. And uh, you also know that uh, for some of these blockchains, we already have uh, uh, the employees at association or Casper Labs. They were cooperating or maybe they were even part of these communities in the past. So hopefully 
uh, with that we can bring this uh, uh, all together and start working since we are all blockchain yeah we are all the the family that is yeah. very much concerned and interested to push this initiative forward i don't see this as competition i think we can create a very rich ecosystem that would be multi-chain and uh, where everyone can find its own niche yeah. yeah it's not a competition it's like we all bakers to make a bigger cake correct okay have a nice day guys and if you have like more questions join our telegram groups and ask piotr uh, on linkedin um, everything you want to know just check the description of this video thank you very much thanks for listening bye